this scene, match accuracy is part of the A-Link sample scenes and demonstrates the pixel perfect match. The sync scene, I have already rendered out the sequence, double click on the comp and uh, as you can see, if we select the camera here, okay, the animation path is uh, the same and uh, the animation in light wave is one, has been exported into After Effects and this now here demonstrates that everything matches. Let's go to the same frame here, more or less this. It stays put here where I place it. I can also add a new solid, let's say uh, 400 by 400 because I have 4 meter by 4 meter grid there. Turn it into 3D. R minus 90 on X and position at 0, 0 because that's the center of coordinate system in Lightwave. If I generate grid and as in the early preview video, we can see the grid generated by After Effects matches the grid created in Lightwave in every frame, no matter how crazy is the camera movement or anything else I can have animated in the scene. Now I'll turn off visibility for the rendered sequence so that we can have a real-time update of this uh, uh, 3D grid inside uh, uh, After Effects and I have to make sure I'm in the same frame, 25. Uh, that's because uh, uh, the Lightwave animation is exported as uh, uh, defined in the render globals from 1 to 72, so 0 is really 1. Okay, this is the same frame, I select the camera, decide to move it down, and sync selected, and here you are, the uh, very same camera angle, let me rotate around the bank until it's almost vertical, yeah, something like this, sync selected, almost vertical. And uh, again and again, I can keep changing. I am now in uh, frame 7, 6 here, and move the camera until the corner is below sync selected. And the corner matches the uh, line, the bottom line of the screen. And uh, you can keep doing this for any object in the scene, let's say this now, I want it to be animated, move on Y, yeah, nothing more than that, sync selected, and now if I select it, you can see it's moving on Y, I go to frame 21, move it to the right, sync selected, and here it is again has been exported.